Good day everyone, Complaining Gamer here. I have some fantastic news for you. For those of you suffering from the RAM usage commit bug on Nvidia, you'll be extremely happy to learn that there's a driver available which can cut up to 50% of the RAM used in Simu when compiling large shader caches. Credit goes to Stu on Discord and two users on 3D Guru, Holy Starlight and Cyrus for the extracted driver package. I waited a day on this news because I wanted the information I provide to be as accurate as possible and review community feedback as well as do my own tests. This fix only applies to the Windows 10 creators update for now so sorry about that Windows 7 users. The driver version is 387.87. This is only for desktop users not laptops. It should work on most modern Nvidia GPUs but some of you may have compatibility issues. Simply download the driver, link in the description and install it. Note that 3D Vision is not an install option but you don't need this feature anyway. Official full GeForce Experience release is expected soon for all users to potentially coincide with new releases such as Shadow of War although there has been no date given for the driver. It does seem safe so you don't need to worry about that and should ignore any false positives. If you're not comfortable you can wait for the official release. Of course this is not for Intel or AMD GPUs. In fact it should be noted that they do not normally suffer from excessive RAM usage anyway. This should help with RPCS3. This is really going to help out users with 8GB of RAM and 16 alike you'll most likely still require a page file if using 8GB. For reference, the driver installed without issue on my GTX 750Ti, which is a February 2014 graphics card. If you'd like to try a before and after test, CMUDEV XAP provides a shader commit test, which I've included in the description. In that test, my commit changed from 2288MB to 1266MB, and in Breath of the Wild with an 8000 plus shader count went from 19 gigabytes to 14 so not quite 50% off in my own personal test but still a substantial cut of 5 gigabytes. In case you're wondering my system has 16 gigabytes of DDR4 RAM at 2133 megahertz. On screen you can see the numbers in game when not using a page file with 16 gigabytes of RAM. It's your choice whether to use one or not. Remember that each time you update drivers, your first shader cache compilation will be slow. It is also recommended to delete your pre-compiled shader cache files as well as your GL cache. You may find that the GL cache folder has moved from app data slash roaming to app data slash local. Performance wise, this should help with stutter for low RAM users. For complete transparency, I should state that I personally found behavior a little erratic. Even with fresh shader compilation, there was still stutter rebuilding parts of the cache which I found a bit strange. One thing is guaranteed, this does indeed lower RAM consumption, however one issue which is rarely spoken about is the horrendous texture popping which is present in Breath of the Wild. Here's an extreme example of a bridge from nowhere. Once the relevant shader effects were loaded, the game felt smooth whether using FPS++ or Vlods' app. As a final note, Reddit user Frequency reported that some games like Heroes of the Storm as well as Nightlight in Windows 10 will misbehave. In the case of HOTS, it shows a white screen if it's pure full screen and not windowed full screen, and Sheepy stated that Final Fantasy XIV freezes for 30 seconds after tabbing out. Also, some other users have complained about Simu sometimes crashing. There you have it, a fantastic RAM usage fix from Nvidia which is set to get even better in the coming years. Go give it a try. I've been the Complaining Gamer, thank you for watching. If you found this video useful, please feel free to hit that subscribe button. Take care, have an awesome day and I will see you next time.